I'm Garrett Bolkus with Last Bread TV, and on this episode of Image Autopsy, we're going to showcase how you can use annual deer data to capitalize on one of your targeted bucks. Matt and Jesse hunted a deer they called Fade for three consecutive years. This beautiful deer frequented one of their farms each year, and collecting that data and analyzing it allowed them to look in the past to formulate a strategy for the upcoming season. The farm Matt and Jesse were hunting is around 150 acres, and it's about 50% ag or tillable and 50% low-lying grassy timberland. They typically run anywhere from 10 to 12 cameras on it a year to monitor the deer and pattern the ones that frequent that farm. Having hunted this deer for several seasons, Matt and Jesse were able to watch this deer transition from his fall kind of core or home area into what is his winter area. They looked back at their camera images and noticed that this deer seemed to shift his bedding area as winter would set in. And understanding this allowed them to put themselves in position for late season harvest. So as stated, as winter sent in, Fade began to transition to his winter bedding area. Matt and Jesse then used their cameras on fence rows, field entrances, and destination food sources to be able to target this deer. They also added a mobile modem so that they could get real-time data of when and where and how frequent Fade was feeding. The take-home message from this is that Matt and Jesse understood this deer's transition. Having years of collected camera data, they knew that he would shift eventually, and once he did, they used a Moultrie Mobile modem to be able to target this deer when he was feeding during daylight hours, and ultimately led to an opportunity to his harvest. Well, I moved the blind at about noon today. We were out here last night muzzleloader hunting, and Fade came around the bottom of this hill and stayed low around us, otherwise he'd be dead. You got him now? Yep. He's down, buddy. He's freaking down. A freaking vertex took him down at 52 yards. Oh, oh my God. Oh, what a gorgeous freaking animal. Oh, I forgot how good this feels. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. He is freaking beautiful, dude. That deer is freaking gorgeous. All right, so this is the elusive, very elusive fade. We have been hunting him for two years now, and we finally, tonight, I don't even know what day it is anymore, got it done. A five and a half year old deer that it just given me and Jesse the roundabout all year a little bit further than I would have liked to have shot him but I mean come on you can't not take your chances when God gives them to you and I am freaking elated he's a giant he is a freaking giant <laughs> 